Welcome to the Sky Review Channel again. My name is Chris. Right now, we're going to be reviewing the wonderful, fantabulous. Let's go bowling with the wonderful and equally fantabulous album, Mr. Twist. This is an awesome record. Uh, 1996. This came out on Moon Sky Europe. Uh, Got a great cover to it. One of the band members. Really, really nifty little um, prop air with a shade path in. Gotta love it. That style. Cool little retro 70s living room that I was taken. Um, I like that. <laughs> it's a little detail in this. This is as cool as with the cover. Look at this cover. It's just cool. Just look at this big back. This is a cool cover. I like this. This band is going to be good. And yes, this band is good. I want to go back to the album too. It's got, it's got, good, art, it's got good artwork. Um, this song, um, this song here, um, really good. I really enjoy them. And there are loads of fight points. And it's uh, a masterclass in how to make a kick ass fucking album. This. Um, it starts and finishes with the same song. That's kind of like bookends. So at the beginning you have a song called Grover's Harine and the end you have Grover's Reprise. Uh, the same uh, melody, um, kind of like uh, a Scarlet song. So it goes on for a little bit in the beginning and then you have a really long one for the reprise and it's really cool. And you open up the Spy Market which um, is a song you can find on here online on YouTube. Just um, click uh, if you put Moon Sky Records or Moon Sky into your um, into your search engine on YouTube, you'll find these guys, and you can listen to the album. Uh, this is my song, sorry. And yeah, it's pretty damn good. It's on Blank TV, and there's one on the Moon Sky. And Jeremy Toaster's going up, I think. I don't know, but there's, there's like three of them floating around, I'm sure. So yeah, you can listen to at least one song, and there's loads of like live footage of them. So just look for it. They're a great band. Which you should listen and you should buy this album if you see it. Now remember, Moonscar is out of print. All these records are out of print. Moonscar does not exist anymore. If you want this, you better you know, go and grab it while you still can. Um, Certain's Cross is, um, I think it's instrumental, Days All the Same, is um, a really like um, a somber kind of um, in minor kind of song. Cum uh, Cumbia del Sol, which is a um, high point, it's kind of like, um, uh, like a Mexican type, um, Latin American type of vibe. And it's, it's, you think it's going to be an instrumental one, so singing in, um, in Mexican or whatever it is, is really cool. Um, Boat Meal for Christmas is a really good song. These kind of start off slow when you get these uh, scar jazz kind of. Um, a lot of instrumental, slower songs with loads of solos, really finesse. And then as the album progresses, the songs start to get faster and faster, and they can become like really two tony in in speed. So you know you get these really fast songs, really 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 kick ass solos. You know, so you got your I think it starts off in no character, mayhem. You take the Riptide Twenty Eight, uncomfortable sidekick, which um on the on the rather on their live album. Uncomfortable Sidekick isn't called Uncomfortable Sidekick, it's got a different name, it's actually called Bitch on that album. She's, well, uh, Uncomfortable Sidekick is about a bitch. I'm not for using the term bitch, but actually the song's called, I'm just saying. I don't know if any women actually watch my videos, I'm totally unaware of this, but I mean, if they do, I'm not as actress, I'm just saying, that's what it's about. Um. You Take Me is a really good song as well. Won't you take me to the... the, 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 the guy. I'm not going to sing. I got told off for singing a few times, so I'm not going to do it. Because people always say, don't sing, you can't sing. I know. That's why I play saxophone. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, with the little liner notes, as I was saying. The liner notes are awesome, because it's the fun cover of the album. Uh, you see the one guy. But actually, it's this long thing. And it's got all the... The members like in the living room chilling out. You see, well, it's the front man or whatever, and then you see all the guys chilling out. Look, 
in this like really retro cool living room with all these weird things going on in it. It's all members. And the guy with the crazy hair standing up, he's the keyboard player, I think. It's just got song listings below it. And then the back, I think that these are the only songs that have uh, lyrics on them. But it seems like more. They, they don't, you don't think there's not a lot of songs with lyrics, but yeah. And it's got all the details on the band. This is pre MySpace people, so. Um, yeah. So in musicians, there's a big fucking list of musicians on this album. I mean, every fucking music, music, you know, musical instrument is accounted for. Yeah. So you can write to Let's Go Bowling, you know, pre MySpace. Um, yeah, but this is a really good album. Uh, I would, without even thinking about it for a second, I give this definitely a 5 out of 5. It's a really good album and it's one that I really enjoy and recommend wholeheartedly that you pick up if you can find it. Um, I will tell you there's only about maybe 20 to 25 people who regularly watch my videos, okay? I have 60 subscribers and that's awesome. But I mean, people who watch like every video I do is not my video. So if you are a, if you're a ska connoisseur and you like the older 90s third wave trad stuff, then this is an album you need to get. And it's an album that you're going to have trouble getting a year down the line, maybe six months down the line. Because once these albums are gone, they are fucking gone. And they're out of print and they're not coming back. They have not been re-released. None of the Moon Scar records have been released with the exception of... Um, the toasters because they were re released on Megara and yeah you will not be able to buy this <laughs> so buy it while well, you still can that's all I'm saying you can even laugh you can scoff and go uh, that's bullshit we'll find online why we'll buy the fucking CD because they're collectible awesome so um thanks ever so much for watching as I said, I gave it a 5 out of 5 because it's a really good album. I recommend you pick it up. So, yeah, like I was saying, you've been watching Scarry Channel uh, with me, your host, Chris. Um, please rate, comment, and please subscribe if you can. I really appreciate all my subscribers. It would be great if someone subscribed so I can get 61, and then I feel safe then that I'm going to have 60 forever. No, whatever, right. Mm. In all honesty, um, that's probably just me talking because this thing is going out. I wish it were a liable fucking thing there. I wish it was like doing this on a um, camera. Mm-hmm.